over properties to potential renters and three local estate agents. Okay, lads, this is the plan for this morning. I want Brefni, Maria and... or Brefni, Lucinda and... Sam to go off to B&Q. Maria, you're going to do the windows and finish off your painting from yesterday. You're going to get the carpet done. I'm going to do the garden and the... Geraldine so kicks off the morning with a team back. meeting. Back here in two hours. Ready? Yeah, chop, chop. Half the house is painted outside and the lads are going to finish that off. It's starting to take shape, but like, it's hard to visualise the final products. Been taught it. Oh my God. Uh, it's no it? point taking out if we can't get upstairs. Early morning in Cabra. Platinum's purchases from yesterday arrived from B&Q, including their ready-built X-Display wardrobe. There was a flat-packed one, but that was the last one on the shelf, and I never even talked about getting that up the stairs. It's only a little narrow staircase. Oh, I feel like it's open. Bill made a big point about time management, and Platinum's time management is all over the place. Now we're wasting so much time disassembling it, getting it up the stairs, and reassembling it. It's, it's, it's a tough environment to be in, to be honest. 10.30. With the new wardrobe installed, Jennifer and Ruth return to B&Q, while the rest of the team stay working at the house. Hi. Um, would you be able to just do us a favour and just quickly uh, give us a measurement for the size of a rope we need for the hall and like, for the sit room? Yeah, I'll have to bring it back to Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, what's the point? You're only going to get a lucky dip anyway. Yeah, well, just, I want to play my part. I'm going to come back with magic things. Geraldine is project manager for the second team, so I suppose that's given us a glimmer of hope. Geraldine is quite a bossy kind of individual anyway, so I'm sure she'll be able to, you know, take control of the team, um, no bother to her, but just that she does have a chip on her shoulder, like, in a bad attitude, you know, the majority of the time, so that might end up affecting the team, you know, be more driven to win now. <laughs> in Drumcondra, 30-year-old senior account manager Steve has been put in charge of carpeting. This is my first carpet I've ever laid. We were put in a situation yesterday where it was, uh, we, we had to do it, the carpet was up, we didn't realise we had a fitness, so we would just get on and do it, so there's no point complaining. I'm very really impressed. It was worth the investment. It will be if we get it right and we get it all laid, like, it really will. Yeah, yeah do those, do those, do some of these. Yeah, you happy with that, Chad? Yeah, yeah. Um, Unless you have any other colours. Have you got any other colours in it? Always on here. Is that the biggest kind of robe you have? Something like that. Yeah. Even kind of this one here. See this here? Let's look at that roof. And I do like that, the yeah. idea you're sitting down watching your TV yeah. with a cup of coffee, end of the day. Nice yeah, can we just rope. get that one then? This crowd think they're at Sunday shopping. The crowd back at the house must be going off their noodle now. kind of crazy yellow door thing. Yeah. And um, the other thing is, are you getting the sprayer? Um, I know, I'm not going to go, honestly, like, there's too much things to do. Do you understand? We can't leave the house half painted, like, the guys won't have time. Honestly, we're going to have doing a budget as we're walking through, and it's nearly all, like, gone. Jennifer? Yeah? Listen to me very carefully. Tony, Le knock something off the list. That sprayer is on the critical path. All right, that's grand, yeah. Yeah, that's grand. I'll do that then, all right? Thanks. Brilliant, brilliant. Bye, bye-bye. She wasn't going to get that. <laughs> More genius. Oh, but like, and do you know what I mean? She doesn't even tell us then. She, she was going to arrive back here and be like, wow, oh, I couldn't get her. 12 noon on day two, and with 1,250 euro left, Kukulans, Brefni, Sam and Lucinda have been dispatched to spend the remainder of their budget. If there's any nice TP extras, just open our eyes. There's some towels, guys. Let's go for it and set it off. Blue, blue to go yeah. in with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's place cushions. No, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, 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 sorry, right one second. <laughs> this is lovely. Can we put it on the tray, see what the money is like, yeah. and then we pull it that's off? Okay, deal. so one of those and two of the first one. Shop to you drop. What's next? We want a very cheap dishwasher. As well as soft like furnishings, Team Cucullan have been instructed to buy a dishwasher. Actually, the only one that we have at the moment is this one. Is that a good price? Yeah. We'll take it. Can we leave it there? We're going to tot up everything else. It should be okay in the budget, but just to make sure. Yeah, sure. To the top. Yeah, yeah. Put it on Great. Top. Yeah. Lovely. I think if we're going over, my first thing would be to put down the paving slab. <laughs> okay. We said that. Let's see how the price goes. We're actually having a clue about our budget. What no. we're at. We don't. And that dishwasher is very pricey, obviously. So that could be. What's the price in total? It's one thousand four hundred and one euro and five cents. We are over. 
Well, it was a complete disaster. They ran around like headless chickens. They were like kids in a candy store, just buy, 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 no attention whatsoever to the budget. They only realised when they got to the till that they were 660 euro over budget. Complete waste of time. Will we just get just rid of one of those? Go OK, up. yeah. OK, we let's do a pile on the ground where we're reducing. Yeah. Just make sure it's the king. Toilet seat on the ground. What about this? Listen to what about this tree? Oh, get rid of us. Yeah, so. yeah. So we can Thanks. get rid of these. Um, yeah, yeah, get rid of them. Uh, light bulbs. That's how I was looking at the light bulbs. Yeah. What's the. Well, no, hold on. Really? I thought, Cinder, no. Actually, a packet of candles could go. Is that it? How much is that? It's 1,244.50. Oh. Brilliant. 1247. We're spot on. Let's go. Excellent. Is that electric? No, it'll be no. pumpable. The paint that we have won't work in this, will it? We'll have to water it down. We'll have to water it down. People will probably look at me and think she's a dumb blonde, but I'm not. Okay, we just shot. We'll just. That's how we're just spent. Also realizing that they have overspent on their budget, Jennifer and Ruth start to cut back on unnecessary purchases. Uh, I think we just should be taking off our rugs. I, I get very passionate about a task, and if I know that there's a solution to the task, then like I just will not give up until I find it. I can't get the spray to. No, sprays not coming into this. I've seen every square foot of this store in the last two hours. They've been faffing and twiffing about. They're driving me crazy at this stage now. I'm really getting fed up with them. Having spent €1,200 Euro of their 2500 budget on soft furnishings, Jennifer and Ruth leave B&Q without the €20 Euro paint sprayer. How's the carpet? The carpet looks amazing. Oh. The new carpet that they have bought has been literally butchered by Steve. Now Steve has never laid a carpet ever in his life so he has been landed in it to a degree but, but he's basically butchered it. Back from B&Q and Breathley decides to finish the garden. Almost everything I do is a challenge to excel. I want to be the best at everything uh, so you know when people are around me they they know they're around a very uh, perfectionistic guy. Breathley, yeah. is there any cord in it? Huh? Is there any cord coming out of it? <laughs> 3 p.m. Jennifer and Ruth return to Cabra with soft furnishings, but no paint sprayer. I requested that the girls pick up a sprayer because the front of the house is very, very important, and it wasn't purchased. Seth and Stephen are absolutely furious that this hasn't been got. We stressed and stressed how important it was, and now, we, like clowns, we have to go and do the donkey work by hand. How, like, can you ask them, Jen, what time they're going to be finished? Just straight out. What time are you going to be finished? I need to know now. Just put pressure on them. The project manager needs to be able to listen to the team around her and listen to what's really required. Candles are not required. Getting the house painted and finished is what's needed. I feel really hard done by. I should have gone for PM. Do you know how long is it be? No offence, but if you got us a spare, we could have had this done. And you totally overrode the decision. You didn't even ring back. We rang you earlier on. I commandeered the phone. I got it off FIFA, and I said to one of you girls on the phone, I said, make sure you get that spare. It was re-emphasised time and time again. And now you're trying to pull us in and to clean up inside. We have to get the house painted. Yeah, I want Look at it. To it looks like an absolute mongrel. Of a friend that you can't even really talk to, like, well, like shouting at me like it's my fault. I wanted a spray gun. It's like, we didn't have the money for the spray gun. I originally said from the start, no, 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 we're painting the house. And they kept saying, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, trust us, blah, blah, blah. So I said, if you think you can do it, like, I'll trust you. And they can't do it. Like, Jen, you only have yourself to blame. Like, we would have had this done by now if we had that prayer. We rang you and you said, and yeah, I have one here. Lads, I don't think your conversation is very constructive. No. Really? This is like icing cakes, isn't it? I love working hard. Not very good that either. <laughs> only two hours to go and Team Platinum are deciding at what price they should set their rent. Maria just done the market research on the pricing of the similar type houses that are around the area. Yeah. Maria, what, what are the results? Uh, well, the, the cheapest one is a €1,000 per month. Um, it's two, two roads down St. Brendan's Road. What is um, it? Three what bedroom is it terrace. Three bed terrace. I know initially we were considering about a grand, all right? Yeah. But we're going from 750 to 1000 The markup is only 250 We need to win this task. 
Now, I don't want to go over pricing and not get anyone to rent it either, so we need to discuss what we think is the best option. I think we could go at least 1100 Rental value currently is set at €750 Euro on the house. It's extremely low, but when we walked in, we could see why it was set at that price. I, I think I'd have to be paid €750 Euro to stay in that house. It was so filthy. Where does it say about...